this is going to go, didn't I? I'm quite a bit older than the other people who have been up here tonight. And you last a few years and get them under your belt and you figure a lot of stuff out. But some things remain mysteries. I live in a country and I have a lot of problem with my well. So why is it when I have no water and no outhouse, I have to shit twice as much? <laughs> I mean, the pump goes down and it's just like taking a handful of x lax <laughs> And can anybody tell me why dog food and feminine hygiene products are on the same aisle? And <laughs> Did you ever notice that tampons come in small and medium, and condoms come in large and extra large? <laughs> Wouldn't it make more sense if it was the other way around? Yeah. <laughs> I've got a high school reunion coming up. And the guy who's organizing it called me and asked me if I'd be on the program. <clears throat> Told me my only job would be to judge the wet cummerbund contest. <laughs> I thought he had misspoken and asked him if he meant wet t-shirts. He said no, wet t-shirt contests are for third reunions and this is to be a 50th. <laughs> I have a girlfriend. Yep. She's blonde, the same as my last one was. <laughs> but since this one is not inflatable, I think it makes me better. <laughs> we were out here at the Loon eating dinner last summer, and then just out of the blue, she says, I want you to quit masturbating. <laughs> I said, why? There's hardly anybody here. <laughs> She thinks her boobs are too small. She wants to add three inches, or three cup sizes and two inches, or two cup sizes and three inches. I keep getting confused between what she wishes she had and what she wishes I had. I was in Anchorage and she called me and asked me if I would buy her some bras without underwire. I thought, no problem. So I go to Nordstrom's and I find the lingerie department and I'm standing there at the edge, looking out over this vast sea of boo <laughs> And this is when I realized that the only thing I know about bras is how to unhook them. <laughs> so how exactly am I supposed to know which ones have underwear and which ones don't? So I think, well, I can just walk around and I can feel them. <laughs> I'm really good at that. <laughs> After an hour of doing that, I learned two important lessons. First, I had no idea that Alaskan boobs needed that much support. <laughs> and secondly, if I ever did that again, it would be a good idea to have a note from her that I could show to the police. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that everyone who works in the Nordstrom's lingerie department is a certified bra fitter? <laughs> I thought that sounded like a more interesting retirement job than being a greeter at Walmart. <laughs> so I checked online and there are actually courses in bra fitting. I picked one out that looked promising <laughs> and started filling out the enrollment form. <laughs> But I quit when the part when they asked me if I'd ever had any unpleasant experiences with underwire bras. <laughs> I'm actually quite supportive of women's issues. Last winter I had to choose between going to the vagina monologues and the feminist fundraiser. <laughs> sort of a choice between being scared out of my wits by you touch it, you die, or leg hair. <laughs> Us old guys, we have our problems too, but we have a secret weapon, Viagra. 
You've all seen the commercials, probably laughed at them, but let me tell you, you pop one of those little blue bombers and you can split wood with that sort of thing. <laughs> <laughs> they do have side effects, though. So if you see some old guy with a red face and a headache, you give him an attaboy along with it. <laughs> Another side effect is a four hour erection. In your dreams, young lady. You know, you know. I know a guy who gets those. He signed up for eHarmony and uses a screen name Usyk. Viagra is good stuff, but it cost $15 a pop. And the problem was that my girlfriend kept wanting $30 worth and I wouldn't get any sleep. <laughs> so I went to Linens and Lace and naively asked the sales lady if they had any vibrators. She kind of rolled her eyes and motioned to the back of the store. And I'm telling you guys, if you ever see what's in that place, you'll never feel like a real man again. <laughs> Some of those things are big enough it would take a car battery. <laughs> and you ladies, how do you know which one to get? Do they have sizing charts? You can look at it and say, I think I'm ready to move up to a 12 <laughs> the, the formula for the volume of the cylinder is I times I. Oh, God. Or in this case, depth <laughs> times radius squared. So do you take a calculator with you? And who gets to take the measurement? That'd be even more fun than being a brothel. <clears throat> so I start looking around and one of the first things I see right there at eye level is a package that in big black letters said your first butt plug. This is when I knew I was way, way over my head. So I find the sales lady, tell her I'm trying to pick out a vibrator for my girlfriend. And she very sweetly asked me, are you going to be the operator or just the manager? I said, listen, all I'm trying to do is get some sleep. small enough it doesn't need a backup warning on it. <laughs> this has been fun. And if anybody was offended by anything I said, my name is Glenner and I <laughs>